In this video, I'm going to show you the first experiment from our Form 6 Supplementary Laboratory Activity Booklet. And basically, we are looking at two classic chemical equilibrium system. And we want to see how the change in concentration of some of the chemical species involved in will affect the color of the reaction mixture. So let's get started. So the first chemical equilibrium system that I am going to show you is involving chromate ion and dichromic ion. The chromate ion on the left hand side is having a yellow color. It will react with two H plus to form dichromic ion and water. And dichromic ion is having an orange color. So basically we are going to change the concentration of hydrogen ion and see how it would affect the equilibrium position of this equilibrium system and therefore how does it affect the color of the reaction mixture. Now we should start with three test tubes here and we will start by adding two cm cube of potassium dichromic solution into each of the test tubes. For convenience sake, I will simply add one pump each. Now to the first test tube, I'm going to add dilute sulfuric acid drop by drop. Now to the second test tube, I'm going to add dilute sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop. So compare test tube 1 and test tube 3. The addition of sulfuric acid does not result in any color changes. Comparing test tube 2 and test tube 3, the addition of sodium hydroxide changed the reaction mixture from orange to yellow. Now, for the second equilibrium system, we are interested in looking at the bromine solution. Now, as you can see from the equation down here, bromine is able to react with water to form hypobromous acid, H+, and bromide ion. Bromine in aqueous solution should appear brown to yellow, depending on the concentration. And the rest of the chemical species involved are actually colorless. So again, we are trying to add sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide to vary the concentration of H plus and to see how such changes in concentration would affect the equilibrium position of the system and therefore how does it affect the color of the reaction mixture. We will carry out the experiment in a film cupboard because bromine vapor is very toxic. Now, first of all, bromine water we will add around 2 ml into each of the test tubes. For this first test tube, I'm going to add a few drops of sulfuric acid. On the second test tube, I'm going to add sodium hydroxide. Comparing the first test tube and the third test tube, there is no obvious color change. Comparing the second test tube and the third test tube, it is evident that the second test tube, where sodium hydroxide is added into it, has a much paler brown color. 
when compared to the original bromine water. Now, after looking at the two demonstrations, you should put down the observations and the corresponding changes in concentration of the colored ions of the system onto the tables on page 5 of the lab web book. To quickly conclude the two experiments, for the first one, when we add sulfuric acid into the dichromate solution, we didn't observe any obvious observable changes. The solution remained orange. Now the reason why we do not register any obvious observation is that the solution itself is originally orange in color. When we add acid into the system, there would be an increase in H plus concentration and therefore the equilibrium would shift to the right, producing more orange dichromic ions. Since dichromic ion is orange in color, and the reaction mixture initially is also orange in color, Therefore, we don't see any obvious color change. But theoretically, the color intensity of the orange color of the mixture should increase. When we add sodium hydroxide into the reaction mixture, we see that the solution changes from orange to yellow. The reason is because the introduction of sodium hydroxide neutralizes some of the acid in the system. Therefore, the concentration of H plus decreases, the equilibrium will shift to the left. By shifting to the left, it will consume more orange dichromate and at the same time producing more yellow chromic ion. Therefore, the reaction mixture changes from orange to yellow. For the second equilibrium system, when we add sulfuric acid into bromine water, the color doesn't change a lot. This is because when we add the acid into the reaction mixture, it will increase the H plus concentration, the equilibrium will shift to the left, producing more brown bromine. Again, the reaction mixture is already brown in color. Producing more brown bromine doesn't give a very obvious color change. But again, theoretically, the color intensity of the brown color of the reaction mixture should increase due to the increased bromine concentration. Now, when we add sodium hydroxide into the mixture, the sodium hydroxide again neutralizes the H plus in the reaction mixture. Therefore, the equilibrium will shift to the right hand side, consuming more brown bromine and producing more colorless products. In this case, the concentration of brown bromine decreases significantly. Therefore, the reaction mixture changes from brown to colorless. That's the end of the experiment, and that's the end of the video.